Hello, my students. Good evening, and welcome to Madrasa Net. Today's lesson, my students, will be about, of course, your sequence one. Before starting the lesson, we have to remember the units. So, the unit is me, universal landmarks, and outstanding figures in history, literature, and arts. If you remember, my students, this is your first unit, my fourth year. So today we will see a new point. Consonant clusters. Consonant clusters. This is your lesson. It's your lesson today. What do we mean by consonant clusters? I will explain in Arabic briefly. Ma mana consonant clusters. Firstly, we have to know what is a consonant cluster. We have one word which is cluster. لدينا هنا الكلمة cluster. The word cluster means things that are closer together. ما معنى cluster؟ بمعنى cluster شيئين أو أشياء التي تكون قريبة من بعضها البعض. So, consonant clusters means to have consonants, one or two, three consonants that are closer together. ما معنى ذلك؟ Consonant clusters هي حروف متقاربة إلى بعضها البعض سواء حرفين ساكنين أو ثلاث حروف ساكنة. The next part. We are going to mention or to see some of these consonant clusters. سوف نرى هنا بعض هذه الحروف الساكنة المتقاربة مع بعضها البعض. So follow me. What do we have here? Yes. Pr. We can see that P is a consonant. R is a consonant. So we have here two consonants that are closer together. هنا نرى P هو حرف ساكن R حرف ساكن حرفين ساكنين متقاربين ماذا نسميهم؟ نسميهم ب consonant clusters الحروف الساكنة المتقاربة but we pronounce it as pr 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 the second consonant Cluster D R D is a consonant. R is a consonant too. So we say dr dr pr dr. Next, yes, T R. We pronounce it as tuntaka tr. Tr, pr, dr, tr. Next one. Yes, b, r, br, br. You see here, we pronounce it as br. Tuntaka, br. Yes, s, m. Two consonant clusters. We pronounce it as sm, sm, tontaka, sm, sm. The next one, s, n. We have two consonants, s and n. We pronounce it as sn, sn. Then, SK, we pronounce it SK, SK, S, 
K, sk. The next one, S, T, st, st, S, T, st. We have N, T, nt, nt, N, T. K T K T K T We pronounce it as K T Tumpak K T Then we have here N D N D N D This is the last consonant cluster so here, my students, we have some of these consonant clusters. The next point, we will show this, or we will explain these consonant clusters by showing some examples. Let's see together here, the placement, and of course, with some examples. We have consonant clusters in initial position. Aina yumkin an takul? هذه الحروف المتقاربة مع بعضها. The placement المكان. First أولا consonant clusters in initial position in the beginning of words. بمعنى حروف ساكنة متقاربة في بداية الكلمة. Like examples. Pr, dr, tr. And br, pr, dr, tr, and br. These are consonant clusters. هذه الحروف المساكنة المتقاربة يمكن أن تكون في أول الكلمة. Like we will see some examples. سوف نرى بعض الأمثلة. In pr or concerning pr, we will see price. Price, pr, price, price, pr, in initial position. This consonant cluster is in initial position. في أول الكلمة. Price, dream, dream, dr, dream, in initial position. Dr, tr, like, tree, tree, t, r. Consonant clusters in initial position. We have tree. Finally, br, brown, brown, br in initial position. So this is the, the first placement. Let's see the next point. We have here consonant clusters in middle position, in the middle of the words. We have here some examples. We have pr, the same consonant clusters. We have kt, kt. We have nt, nt. The last one, it is br, br. We can see these consonant clusters too in middle position. يمكن أن نرى هذه الحروف الساكنة في وسط الكلمة. Let's show this by giving some examples. We will see the example. Pr like apricot. Apricot. Pr in middle position. نرى هنا pr في وسط الكلمة. Apricot. The next one. Active. Active. You can see here that kt, we pronounce it as kt, but the spelling is different. So in kt, it can be written as kt or kt. ما معنى ذلك؟ نرى هنا consonant cluster مكتوب بالحرف k kt ولكن ينطق kt ويكتب 
CT. And sometimes we can find that it is written with KT. وبعض الأحيان يمكن أن نراه مكتوب with K and T. Like active. Active. أنت dentist. Dentist. أنت in middle position. Dentist. Next. Umbrella. Umbrella. Br. Umbrella. Br in middle position. So this is the second point. We move to the third point. Next we have consonant clusters in final position at the end of words. Consonant clusters في آخر الكلمة. يمكن أن تكون هذه الحروف الساكنة في آخر الكلمة. We show this with some examples. We have ند like second. ند second. Next we have ست example first first then we have nt like paint paint after that finally ft ft like gift gift this is the third point concerning final position in the end of words we move to the next point oh, this is the final point what do we have here my students ماذا لدينا هنا clusters words contain two or more consonants ما معنى ذلك يمكن هذه الحروف ساكنة أن تكون مرتين في كلمة واحدة. We will show this with some examples. سوف نرى هذا مع بعض الأمثلة. We start pr or nt. We have two consonant clusters. We can find two consonant clusters in one word. لدينا هنا حرفين ساكنين متقاربين يمكن أن يكونا في كلمة واحدة The example here is print Yes, we have print pr -t. print Two consonant clusters in one word print Next one br -d. The same thing. We have two consonant clusters. Br, nd. Br, nd. Example. Brand. Brand. Yes, it is brand. B, R. Br, N, D. Nd. Two consonant clusters in one word. Brand. Next one. We have nt, st, nt, st. Example, two consonant clusters. Dentist, dentist. Nt, st, dentist. Nt, st. Two consonant clusters in one word. Dentists. The last one in this position. Ng. ند ng ند we have an example two consonant clusters the example is england like england yes ng ند england so uh, hope my students this is a brief explanation about consonant clusters hope you have enjoyed with me uh, see you next time with a new lesson and new practice. Goodbye.